Yeah, the Yeezy a color your days, a number the J's, a number the Nike a real they Another gym day, about to get things going. Let's go see what our weight is today. Down 47.6. Gained a pound. Probably factor in the shoes. Probably the same as yesterday. So it is what it is. But yeah, I know what time it is. Let's get it. I went rock climbing the other day. Yesterday. And when I went rock climbing, bro, I ain't even gonna lie to you. I had the time of my life. You happen, you're gonna get all the way to the top and next day you're gonna pass out. Good, Cameron, you do it. Play it to my hand. All right, today we're doing chest. Incline, chest press, bro. It's incline bench press. Sometimes I'll do it with the bench. Sometimes I like doing it over here. Now today, I look, you wanna talk about why a lot of dudes go to the gym uh, after breakups. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or I know a lot of dudes attempt to go to the gym after breakups, but we go talk about that after that. The loss of your love of your life can lead you to lift 225. <laughs> Alright, we got this 80 pounder right here. Alright. That shit isn't even flying. I don't even know why I put my phone. I need some tunes. I do know why a lot of dudes go to the gym, have the breakups, is because that's what social media and Instagram tell you to do. <laughs> real shit. But I'm gonna be real. I think that a lot of dudes, when they get broken up by their girl, mainly it's because the girl just like don't, don't look at them as like how they, how they used to be when they first got together. So. They feel like they need to improve. And I feel like as a dude, the simplest way to improve is to improve your physique and your body, your physical appearance. Um, that's what a lot of people do. They just go straight to the gym, play that. This exercise right here is a single-handedly the reason why my traps, like my whole like line right here, neckline, increased crazy. Like this exercise right here. And I think doing it with a barbell is better than like a, a actual that like weight. You know what I'm saying? Like a like a uh, uh, you know what the fuck I'm talking about, bro. I be getting out of breath. And in the gym, and I be fucking losing my track of train of thought. That's what I was saying about going to the gym after a breakup. Is it the best thing to do? Uh, ain't gonna lie, I think you should be going to the gym regardless. Let's go my way. Straight? Yes, Tell them what you think. You yeah. Should. Why do guys go to the gym after a breakup? Huh? Say, why do guys go to the gym after a breakup? Oh, but that's like a villain arc moment. Like, uh, you gotta focus on yourself, make yourself better, bro. Like, uh, focus on yourself. Like, that's really it, bro. Because you feel better, bro. You do things better, it motivates you more. Right. You know, the gym is worth it, bro. Right. Like, relationships ain't worth it yet until, like, you made it for real. I said, I said, I said, like, if you was already going to the gym, you wouldn't have to worry about that because your girl would like you because you going to the gym. <laughs> Because for me, honestly, bro, I started working out because, bro, I was fat, bro. And, like, I was been bullied my whole life. And, like, you know, like, it was just motivating to, like, you know, once you start feeling better, like, uh, it, like, opens up your mind more. Like, you know, you look at uh, life different, like, with a different perspective. Facts. So, that's They, they say that um, having a good physique makes you the sort of the equivalent to being a celebrity in certain situations. You agree? 
Because you get treated different. Like, it's, oh, yeah, you yeah, get yeah, treated yeah, different, yeah, for sure. like, if you have, like, a big, massive chain, then yeah. Because if you're, like, pretend you go from fat to, like, sk like uh, muscular skinny, but people won't even talk to you when you were fat. I've seen that happen in school, bro. Like, uh, other people, like, that were, like, uh, uh, a little big, you know, like, people didn't talk to them. They were, like, nah, he's lame or whatever. What? Like, once they come back and you see, like, they're all fit and stuff, like, damn, like, cause that, yo, that dude is, like, tough or whatever. All right, last question. What do you think gets more attention in a room? All right, a dude coming through straight, you know what I'm saying? Like, I guess designer outfit, you know what I mean? Nice car pulled up, you know what I mean? Chains and everything, or a dude with a good, like a really God level physique. Oof. Or would turn more heads, hey, if you come in the room. Definitely a physique, bro. Cause honestly, bro, nice. per personally, I hate designer shit now, bro. I feel like that shit overrated. Shit overrated. Bro, back in the day, like if it was like, when I was in like 11th grade, like a 10th, 11th grade high school era, like, Bro, that one was like people used to look at designers like, oh, yo, that's hard, whatever. But nah, but nowadays, bro, once you get mature, you grow up, like, bro, designer's not really worth that at all. Bro. Well, you realize that designer is kind of easier to get than having a physique. Oh, yeah, for sure, bro. All you just gotta do is spend money to get designer, bro. Like, otherwise, physique, you gotta work hard for that shit. You gotta grind, On oh, me, on oh, me. Facts, 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 facts. That facts. been in the gym, too. You see it? See, I don't be lying. People be, yeah, they, they be thinking I'll be lying because I'll be like, yeah, I go to the gym. Nah, and he a hooper for real, bro. <laughs> I'm ass, I'm ass. On the court, anything, he's fast as hell. I'm ass, I'm ass, I'm ass. Alright, my boy. I'll catch you out your workout. Man, I'm telling you, man, a God level physique is it's way better. It's way better to have a, a God level physique than a uh, than all them chains. Alright. Plus, most people that be having them chains be overcompensated. You know what they lack? Like. Physique. And don't forget, bro, just uh, anybody watching these videos, man, just remember, man, life is not about going from zero to 100, like the music videos and shit suggest. Life is all about getting 1% better every day. All right? Sometimes, bro, real shit, some of y'all gonna realize that when people be saying life is better, when shit was harder and you didn't have money, you won't realize that. Life is not about going to the top, it's about the journey there. So all the struggles is what's really going, you know what I mean? What you really going to enjoy. <laughs> Bro, I forgot how many I got left. I hate when I do that. I forget what set I'm on. Every time. Exercises. You get two 10 pound plates. Right. Another topic I want to talk about today is gym intimidation <laughs> all right i know a lot of y'all kind of low-key would like to go to the gym but you're kind of scared but you're scared of what other people would think and shit like that i guess the gym could be a pretty intimidating place um but one thing i can't stress is no matter if your form is perfect a little bit off a little to not somebody's liking you always got to remember always got to remember this one thing all right i cannot stress this enough Niggas is gonna talk whether you do it or not. But always remember, 90% of the niggas, if not 99% of the niggas talking, wouldn't even do what you're doing, all right? They not even gonna do it. They wouldn't even go, they just wanna talk. Do you, all right? You'll figure it out. You gotta do it wrong sometimes before you get it right. You know what I mean? That goes across all aspects of life.
we listening to? But look, the only thing is I always stress is when shit start hurting in life, physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, <laughs> you know when shit start hurting and it start getting hard, you're doing it right, bro. You're doing it right. All right, stop being weak. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like the agenda. You know how people be talking about what the agenda is being pushed now today. I feel like the agenda now. What I think is. To just be weak, take the easier route. Everybody wants to take the easier route and the shortcuts. Don't take no shortcuts. There is no shortcuts with the gym. There is no shortcuts to your purpose. You just gotta do it every single day and and show up for it at all times. For this one, bro, you just need 25s on each side. You ain't need nothing crazy, bro. I know it's gonna be a lot of people in the comments like, oh, I can live 10 times more than that. My nigga. I don't care. <laughs> Drop two more today. We do this shit like it's ordinary. I swear I can't wait to some more get back. Hold on, what's that? I swear this shit don't look like nothing. But the more and more you do this one, oh that motherfucker start getting heavy in your chest. Like my chest is percolating right now, motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, 1051. Gym close at 11. I'm gonna weigh myself. Get my BMI, my body mass index. See when the fuck cause I'm lit. I know some bitches that play with them pieces. They came in this bitch with their own body. We throwing money in the air. This ain't even a strip club, but we all walk. This is my second workout of the day. So I ain't record the first one. But I mainly just played basketball. Two workouts. Can't be fucked with. <laughs> Always gotta finish off the workout with 10 push-ups. No matter what. 10 push-ups. I mean pull-ups. Try it. Stand on there. My weight. I got my phone in my pocket. And I got the camera in my hand. Put my thumbs in the little thing. 25% complete. Almost done, almost done. It's a 3% body fat. How accurate do y'all think that is? One day. One day we'll leave the gym in a Lamborghini. So, today, great gym day. Awesome, feel amazing. Uh, apparently, I am I'm 3% body fat. I, I, bro, I think that's cap. It's gotta be cap. I don't know, you in the comments down below can, uh, can get to it and, and you guys can tell me. <laughs> this is just not me, bro. I, as I said, I don't do this. A little flex. All right, we are apparently 9% body fat. Around 144 pounds. Feeling amazing. Time to eat. Yeah, I know, bro. I told y'all. I'm gonna be lying. I'm eating the same thing all week. Spaghetti, meatballs. Everyday routine, all right? Some of y'all wonder why you don't got no results in the gym. It's because you keep on doing too many things different. Stop trying to do 30 different things at once. Have the same daily routine, daily regimen. Do that for 60 days straight. And then do it for 120. 270, then 360, then 365. That's a whole year, and then do it again. Facts. Gonna make my protein shake after. Get a little bit of Greek yogurt. Get a little bit of that for the gains. 
Valor. Believe it or not, the physique that I have right now um, was achieved by just my knowledge of eating right and just going to the gym, bro. All right? Not going to the gym and meticulously saying, oh, I need to bend my arms at a 90 degree angle, a 90 degree perpendicular angle, bro. No. Bro, I just go to the gym. I work out. I got my workout. I know what feels right. I know what I do. I'm physically fit. I'm athletic as fuck. Um, and I eat right. I don't eat like a fucking, like, just bullshit. I eat good food. Really whole food. Real food. I don't take no supplements. This is 100% natural. I don't take creatine. I don't, I don't, I don't do none of that, alright? Not knocking anybody that does. Cause I know some people that do it, but y'all gonna start. Here they go. I know y'all type, y'all niggas typing in the comments right now. But, yeah, 100% me. Um, so what I want to do now this year is through the knowledge of social media and making videos, see what other people do and combine the knowledge of others combined with mine mm -hmm. and do what we do so that's why i don't really like i don't ever get mad when people be like oh you're doing it the wrong way or this and that like because there's a lot of ways to do the same shit or there's a lot of ways to improve and get better you know what i mean so if y'all know any uh good macro tracking apps send me that so I make my protein shake, all right? I put a little bit of chocolate chips in some milk. Get you some oats, all right? Yep, some oats. Peanut butter is a good bulking agent, bro. It's, it, 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 Y'all know what it do, bro. Peanut butter, it, it, it just do what it do. I remember when I was poor in college. I ain't had shit, bro, in college. And I was, I was starting to lift. I started my lifting journey. I would just, when I used to work a nine to five job, I would um I would just eat peanut butter sandwiches on my break, <laughs> and that was like my uh, my bulking food. I eat like bring like two of them to work. <laughs> but yeah, that was that was the days. That was the days though. You know what I'm saying, get that peanut butter right in there. Shit tastes like my 15 minute break at work. <laughs> Shout out to Control. Shout out to Control meal replacement shakes. All right, got these two flavors. We're gonna mix them together. Control. If you want to sponsor me, send me some of them protein cookies. Them things was good. I was in the airport. I had them things. Them things, they was, they was valid. If you want to do that control, hey, marketing department, let me know. Let me know. All right? So I just get, what I like to do is I like to, you know, mix the flavors together. So we got, um, what is this? Cinnamon toast, a cinnamon toast crunch. All right? One of my favorite cereals. And then we got the classic cookies and cream. Uh, the packaging look good, too. Ain't gonna lie. Even the packaging look good. I just do, uh, I get a full scoop, but then I just measure it. So I just get half of that right there. Mm -hmm. Then I get some of the uh, cinnamon toast crunch. Yeah, yeah. Dang, I did that. I put a full thing in there. I'm cooked. And then the next thing we do is we get the oats. Fill up the oats. Get a good little bit. I'm from Connecticut, so I naturally like oatmeal a lot. <laughs> if you don't know, all right, you know, all right. P people, my people from up north know. Like, well, I remember when I first moved down south. I live in Atlanta. Um, I was like, what, what? I didn't even know what grits were, man. I did not know what grits were. I was a kid, but I didn't know what grits were because, like, bro, we don't eat that up north. We do not eat that. We eat oatmeal, all right? And that last thing, some blueberries. Put the blueberries in there. All right. Blueberries. All right, the top. Very good antioxidants, you know what I mean? I got the organic ones, but... Who knows? Sometimes people be saying stuff is organic, and I feel like 90% of the things on sale at the store that say they're organic are not even close to being organic. It's just marketing. Get us some ice. Put some ice in your shake, man. Put some ice in your shake. And then, this is my secret right here. Because I done filled this thing up so much, right, it's not going to blend the way you want, right? So you want to, you know, make the top a little wet, put a little water in there, all right? And then you're probably saying water in a protein shake. Yeah, I know. It sounds crazy, but it's nothing crazy. It's nothing. Headphone users, beware. It's going to be loud. It's going to be real loud, all right? Oh, yeah. Just like that, shake is done. Um, what I do is I normally leave it like this for like five minutes. Just about five to ten minutes. Because, like, you know how there's a lot of stuff at the top of the thing? Yeah, I like for all that to fall back in. I'm saying I'm getting my money's worth, bro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm hey, ain't nothing wrong with that, bro. Some of this workout stuff. Mm -hmm. 
should be expensive. Just brought some crypto. <laughs> Um, we should probably talk about that sometimes on this channel because this channel's like in no specific way. It's, it's, it's this channel's about improving, bro. But we mainly talk about working out. Um, but, and we talk about improving in life and just getting better. And crypto could be one of those things, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what you believe in, but you know what I mean, I, I look at the charts. I look at the charts. Let's give it a little look see real quick. Wait a couple of minutes. Yes, sir. Getting every last drop. Every last drop. Bro, I don't care, bro. I told you, some of this workout stuff be mad expensive. Be it, Some of this workout stuff be mad expensive for no reason, bro. You know what I'm saying? And it's lit. Oh, I forgot. Cheers, buddy. Do make sure to drop a like and go ahead and comment anything that you want to comment on this video just for the algorithm. You know what I'm talking about, man. Hey, it's me, Big Gym Work Purpose, baby. You know how we do it over here, all right? All right, my G. I'm going to see you tomorrow.